the forehead of your robot. Ever wonder why some people stop watching SpongeBob SquarePants? Well here's the reason why. It was a humid day in my home country, Australia, and my mom ordered me a pepperoni pizza with a large soda. I was home alone all night which gave me the chance to watch and eat whatever I want. At exactly 7.30pm, I got an email from Nickelodeon. Here's what it said. Hello fellow Spongebob fan from Australia. We would like to present you with what is considered to be one of the most disturbing lost episodes of the series. We never really felt comfortable releasing it until after Hillenburg's death. Proceed with caution, as what you're about to see will stay with you forever. Another message from a company? I wondered. The last time a famous company messaged me was last year, when Disney showed me the Lost Air Buddies movie. I got a bit disturbed judging by the thumbnail of the video. Which was just a black screen with the word help in red. I had some time to think before I proceeded to watch the video. The first half of me wanted to watch the video, the second half of me said to not watch the video because it might be scary, and it might give you nightmares. Nevertheless, I listened to the first half of me and watched the video. Oh how I wish I could take that back. The episode started like normal, with Spongebob getting up to mischief like he always does. He went to the Krusty Krab to make some delicious Krabby Patties for the customers. However something was up with Squidward. He looked absolutely miserable and his veins were showing for some reason. Spongebob proceeded to make the Krabby Patties for the customers who were happier than they usually were. Spongebob appeared to be singing Never Gonna Give You Up by Rick Astley. His singing started to really annoy Squidward, and what happened next was totally unexpected. Squidward yelled at Spongebob to stop singing. But it wasn't his usual cartoon-like yell, it was an extremely realistic yell, as if Squidward's voice actor was slowly losing it. Spongebob then started to cry and scream. Eventually he started to destroy the kitchen out of frustration, buttering things about gutting Squidward alive and destroying the bikini bottom. Squidward had a terrified expression on his face. He slowly crouched down while whimpering. Mr. Krabs came into the frame and asked Squidward what the problem was. Squidward replied. It's, it's SpongeBob. He's been acting really strange lately. I simply asked him to stop singing that stupid annoying song, and now he's muttering things about killing me. This concerned Mr. Krabs, so he slowly walked into the kitchen and said, SpongeBob, me boy! Why are you so angry at Squidward? SpongeBob didn't respond, he just looked at Mr. Krabs with a frustrated expression. This concerned Mr. Krabs even more, so he slowly walked out of the kitchen with a scared expression. SpongeBob then stormed into Mr. Krabs' office and yelled, Where is my freaking money? Sorry, me boy, you haven't been working very hard lately. Mr. Krabs replied with a worried expression. Oh hell yeah, I have! SpongeBob screamed. SpongeBob! Now maybe we could talk about this over a simple Krabby Patty! Mr. Krabs said with a scared expression. SpongeBob grabbed Mr. Krabs by the neck and started to choke him. He then threw him at the wall and started to smash his face with a crowbar. Blood was barely visible, but you could see his teeth being knocked out and his skin being peeled off. SpongeBob started to laugh feebly, and walked to Squidward menacingly. Squidward headed towards the exit door, but it was locked during work hours. There will be no escape from me! Yelled SpongeBob with a demonic voice. The background turned red for a split second before turning back to normal again. You'll never gonna catch me! Exclaimed Squidward in a cartoony way. He broke through the doors and started to run away at high speed. SpongeBob was trying to catch him, but was failing miserably. Eventually SpongeBob decided to dig up Sandy's dead corpse that was secretly under the ground, and oh boy was it creepy. Blood was all over her body, her eyes were dangling from their sockets, and her helmet was broken. He threw the corpse away and started to chase Squidward with his car. It was even faster than Squidward. Squidward tried to run faster than the car, but he failed. And that eventually resulted in one of the most gory kills in this episode. Squidward fell down from exhaustion. Unfortunately that was bad timing as Spongebob's car drove towards him at high speed. It ran into Squidward's body and proceeded to run it over. Ink was spraying from his nose and blood slowly started to spill out from his body. His last victim was no other than Patrick Starr. Patrick was just hanging around his house feeling really happy. 
until SpongeBob went into his home and murdered him with a chainsaw, Patrick had very little time to say anything. As it was almost an instant kill for SpongeBob. The episode ended there. What did I just witness? Was that a SpongeBob episode or a really dark parody? I decided to email the guys at Nickelodeon. They said that the episode was made under unauthorized permission from the company, and the episode accidentally aired on children's television, scaring a generation of children in only one week. Nickelodeon sent out a statement at the end of the original airing of the episode that said, We people at Nickelodeon would like to apologize for anyone who was scared and or experienced heart attacks from this episode. Nickelodeon does not air episodes of TV shows that are aimed for adults, as it would slowly harm the life of a child. Now here's a more upbeat episode of Spongebob. I didn't get any sleep that night, all I could think of was Spongebob killing his friends and family. Man I really wish I could take back that decision and not watch the episode. It's gonna be stuck in my memory for a long time.